Well, we got some information a little bit before that. Uh, well, these are the three criteria that are known, and uh, the uh, Treasury is uh, publishing these reports on a regular basis. Uh, but uh, let me clearly say also here that Switzerland and the Swiss National Bank, we are not currency manipulators. Our monetary policy is necessary, it's uh, legitimate, and we have a very low inflation rate. It's even negative at this moment, and so we have to fight this deflation. And the Swiss franc is very strong, so it appreciated in nominal terms over the last 12 years enormously, both vis-à-vis -vis the euro and vis-à-vis -vis the U.S. dollar. This announcement comes in the final stretch of President Trump's administration, the Biden administration soon due to take over in the White House. How do you see the Biden administration handling this designation? What kind of measures are in your base case when it comes to future U.S.-Swiss relations on this topic? Well, in general, we have very good relationship with uh, our American colleagues and friends. Uh, this is true for all different administrations. And uh, we had a very good relationship so far, and we also intend to have a good one with the new administration. We are looking forward to an intensive and constructive uh, dialogue, and uh, we will try to explain uh, the specific situation of Switzerland regarding these uh, criteria. And we will explain again why these criteria uh, do not really come to the right conclusion regarding Switzerland and that we can demonstrate that we are not a currency manipulator. And if after doing this and going down the path of further explaining Switzerland's position and your options here, if the U.S. continues to challenge the action you're taking uh, against the Swiss franc, could you consider selling U.S. dollar denominated assets, potentially equities, when it comes to your investment uh, policy? Well, our monetary policy has a clear mandate given by the Swiss population and also given by the parliament. So we have to fulfill this mandate, and that means price stability. So we cannot change our monetary policy. We have to fulfill this mandate. And interventions at this time are very important, together with the negative interest rate. So we have a little other options, and so we intend to use the same instruments as in the past. And I'm also convinced that selling our U.S. assets would not help the American economy. We are a big investor, also a big direct investor in the United States, and the economic relationship between Switzerland and the U.S. is very close, very strong, and we hope that that will continue in the benefit of both countries.